So uh, using an airplane analogy, um, it says like which it. wing is more important, right? Revenue or relationships? The reason I'm bringing this up is it is the end of year, and, and I'm not sure if it's the guys watching this or, or guys just here to take in consideration moving into next year. It's a really good time for goal setting. But there's also a lot of end of year movement, uh, and it's typically the new year is you want to start something new. You want to get either your health back on track or your professional life back on track. Uh, so a lot of guys leave jobs between now and April. Um, some guys do it because they are able to buy their own truck and take the depreciation schedule towards the end of the year with a good deal. Not a whole lot of good deals going on with the trucks right now with the equipment market uh, or the facts that they have tax money coming in and that's money that they normally don't plan to have. So this way they can put money in for a down payment. Uh, so the question is what's more important? Is it revenue or is it relationships? So, and this goes both for, for office uh, personnel as well as drivers. Um, so we're gonna cover both. But they're really two keys to retention, right? Uh, and that's that's what these are. Um, and there's always an alarm that goes off. And so you don't want to, it's like a, a tilt alarm, right? A couple things when you're flying a plane is you have to trust your gauges. You are those make sounds sure. coming from that plane? They or? are not. It's coming from Jim's truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah. is that the plane? <laughs> yeah. Jim, is, is, is your window down? Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> I, I love it because I just click it. And I make thought it, it was. Time it comes I thought it was cool. I'm like, man, he's got sound effects with this plane that he's got on the screen, <laughs> and the yeah. words even wiggled a little bit. Too. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Jim and Christian are on sync on that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Well, wait till it comes again and click the button again. Um, no, but, you I know, put my window up. You won't uh, hear the truck driving. You just ruined my presentation, Jim. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, Anyway, so, you know, there are two, there's a, a life is about balance. And I think all of us have worked for a really good company and been paid really crappy money. And a lot of us have been paid really well and been treated like crap. So it is about finding the happy medium, uh, making sure that you know what your worth is. Um, and part of that is making sure that, you know, there are, you know, we can call it your gut. You can call it your intuition. There are things that say, hey, this is just not a good situation to be in or, and even getting out of a truck, this is, you know, um, you know, the truck seems to be having, you know, problem after problem after problem, and it's going to drain you to death. Well, you want to make sure you have a relationship with who you're working with, that they're going to see you through that. They're going to make sure that they know your value. Uh, and then the other side of the set is to make sure that you get paid it. So you want to look at the horizon. This is a really good time of year to start doing your planning for next year. So if you don't have someone in the office that you've asked to help, I know all the offices and everybody on this call um, are not just about looking at just your weekly revenue, but what are our goals? You know, over the next 12 months, what do you want to achieve in the truck? Um, and so, you know, it doesn't mean that it's all going to happen. You know, we went into COVID, we had certain expectations for 30 days, we had a drop and then it's really been, you know, our place, the name rate since then. So the flight plans can change, you know, the flight itinerary can change. Um, so we have had revenue and relationships um, and they're, they're both very important. Um, I think the last week, Russ, I believe it was Russ, you mentioned that someone had mentioned whether they, why is it I'm not being pre-planned like I used to, right? You're, yeah. you're, you're loading them up day of. That's just a really one good example of a number of examples that say, hey, um, they have to trust that you're doing what's best for them when it's best for them. And also you're trusting them out in the road to make those best decisions. You know, it is a group effort. Uh, but in doing that, you know, you're looking after their money and money is a motivator. But a monetary motivation generally loses power over time. Um, it's not as important and it's not long term. Um, and we talk about the Rockefeller theory is how much money is enough, just a little bit more. This is it. It's because it's not always going to sustain that growth. You need to be profitable. You need to make sure who it is that you're working for and working with want to make more money every year as you go along and that they want to push every day. But at the end of the day, it's, it's temporary compliance. It's not full time satisfaction. But what is is something called an intrinsic motivation, right? That's a long-term motivator because it's two individuals working together and achieving more. And it's not perfect every time, but there's a stronger, stronger connection because it's internal, it's personal. You know, when you have issues, you can rely on somebody. Um, and that's the reason it can be drawn over a period of time because it's not always something that's objective. You know, we talk about occupancy reports. We talk about revenue. You know, intrinsic motivation is subjective. You know, it's about cultivating a relationship that you can trust. Um, you know, you all were talking about somebody last week that had a large, a large expense. And um, I forgot who it was. I believe it was a female $5,000 expense, whatever it was. It was Joanna had it. No, it was way more than that. But okay. <clears throat> well, yeah, we'll say way a, more than that. Yeah, it was. And uh, 
that's the the one that took that big load out of California that Tom put okay. on her. And um, I did back her on that repair. I know she's good for it. Uh, uh, but, yeah, it happens in trucking. But just to show the balance there, right? So it is monetary. She had this kick butt load, and she's going to recapture that and, and place some of that back towards it. But it's also intrinsic. She knows that there's a relationship and that there's a trust there that you say, hey, look, you know, um, we're going to make sure that we extend this because we know you are hardworking. And in every business at some point, I don't care who you are, you're going to reach out to somebody. And having that uh, is also long term. It's not just a motivator, but it's a success factor. Because if, if you don't have both of these elements, you won't succeed. You can make all the money in the world and you may not budget it right or something happens to your truck time and time and time again. You don't exit it in time and you have a 50,000 motor spend and then you have a $20,000 motor spend and you can't throw enough money at the problem. Well, guess what? You're going to need to rely on somebody else. And if you don't cultivate and manage both of these for long term so, satisfaction. Such a powerful statement. It's so important. <clears throat> One of the things, and Mike, we've mentioned this, Christian, on the show before. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember walking out a few years ago outside and Mike was still a driver with us and thinking about leaving. And, you know, I will, I don't remember exactly the whole conversation, but the one thing I, I know he hasn't forgotten and I haven't forgotten is that I said to him and I've said it to other people that are still with us uh, over the years, you know, it's not about getting another one or 2% or something or like 5% from a different company. Yeah. Sometimes you got to look at it. It's about the relationships you build and where that's going to take you. That is such a strong thing um, that, uh, and I'm sure Mike can tell you that. Uh, yeah, not and not only that, and to, just the, the the transparency. Like in uh, on that call, I remember you saying, you know, five percent of what if you don't if you don't know what you're getting on the other end. Yeah, you know, and, and we're we're very transparent here. You know, we yeah. send you know uh, I tag all the my drivers in with um, my emails to the brokers and everything just so they can kind of see what's going on but um but yeah those, uh, those we had that conversation and yeah. well that's one of the reasons why i bought um my truck the way i did when i bought my truck that that first truck i bought i borrowed um uh, metal arc had the down payment assistance i borrowed three grand from them i borrowed three grand from my grandmother and like I didn't have any money for repairs. Like I was, if something happened, I was like hoping Meadowlark would, would back me and you would, you know what I mean? Russ? Yeah. Like I was like, you did have a warranty though. He had a really good I warranty. I did have a, I did have a warranty <clears throat> and I had, uh, I had the fact that I was like, well, I'll just live in this thing if I have to. Like I yeah. was yeah, good teammates. Know, yep. I was, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. And I, I wasn't going to go home or I, I was literally in my mind, I was like, if I have to, I'll just live in this. He's motivated to make it work. And that's and what that's it takes. Where I was, that's where yeah. I was at with it. So I, I have to say too, that I'm here, I'm here for the relationship too. It's not, you know, it's not about the money that you can make somewhere else. It's the relationship that I have with, with, uh, my office with Russell, uh, all of you guys in the office and metal alert. So, you know, that, that's why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a, I, I'm, you I was brought up a say, really I've good subject here, Christian, that you tapped into. <laughs> I've definitely got to agree with that because, you know, I had Nathan knows he worked with, he worked for me. I had 11 trucks at one time and we were he doing did. great, but I, I had a good relationship with the post office, but you know, the post office is government, so they're not going to help you anyways. But the people that we were contracting through, I had a really bad relationship with him. I made good money, but the relationship wasn't there. And they kicked me to the curb and ended up causing me to lose everything that I had. So I didn't feel like I gained anything back until I came here and got with Russ. I mean, it's, I, I, yeah. I've said this too, Christian, about, you know, just our relationship with Metal Arc um, as a whole. There's, there's give and take. I mean, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to be perfect anywhere, but that relationship that we're learning over the years, we're learning to grow it. We're learning to fix the things that could be better um, on our end and their end. So, yeah. you know, it's a, it's always going to be a two way street, but you know, I'm, you know, like these guys are saying and mentioning us, I mean, I'm saying it and mentioning metal lark. I mean, you got to appreciate those relationships that you have in this and honor business. The other side. Yeah, and honor I the other really, side. 
I'm a guy, man, that likes stability and this, I don't like change. I'm not big on, I never have. And, you know, I don't want to, <clears throat> just because the the car, you know, it, the, the car's not as shiny anymore. And I see one next door that is, I don't need a new one. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I like to continue to keep the train. I always think of it that way. Like, just, we got to keep the train oiled. We got to keep the train moving forward. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be running okay. right now if it wasn't for the relationships that I've got with y'all. Yeah. So, yeah, and I want to be clear because, uh, you know, obviously we can see revenue reports, you know, as, as we look back at like contests and things like that. And, yeah. and, you know, it's you guys are all praising the relationships, which is great, but the money's also always there. I mean, you guys do have the best of both worlds. And we feel that, you know, our terminal has similar offering, offerings as well. But I mean, and I just want to make sure I speak on it. it. You guys do have great relationships, but you also have a fantastic team that provides that monetary support as well. <laughs> it's great when you can have both, but most cases you don't. You either have a guy that doesn't treat you well and yeah. pays you well or doesn't pay you well and you know and tries to make up for it in other places yeah i i can be i can be honest with you anyone that's listening any of our drivers out there viewers or people that don't know us um you know when i i i'm the sole owner of, of my company and uh you know i've always believed uh and i can't even tell you where i picked it up but i've always believed that the best way that i can become successful is to help everybody around me and honestly I don't, you know, I I probably could have been done by now had I done things differently and been a little greedy, mm -hmm. but I've never been that way. And, um, you know, I got a long way to go before I'm done. And, and, the, and the question is, would that make you happy if you, if it you wouldn't. did it the other way? It no. wouldn't, because I'm getting yeah. more out of <laughs> uh, seeing Mike Doty uh, grow into what he's become, watching Ray grow into what he's become, uh, Kevin and Nate, you know, these guys – on our fleet, Jim Mackey, you know, he's been at Metal Arc for 10 years. Um, he's been with us since 2017, since we came to Metal Arc. And these relationships mean a lot to me. And mm -hmm. it's Robert Selby, I mean, I, the list goes on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But those those things are way more fulfilling than just uh, what the bank account says and when how quick I can get done and cash my chips in. Yeah, so I, was, yeah. I was there kind of day one with Nikki, I guess week one, whatever it was, when the onboarding. And, you know, my takeaway, I told Nikki, I said, it seems that Russ is a guy that applauds success. You know, I think that's that's the only takeaway mm -hmm. I took from your office. That was it from everybody yeah, yeah. I met in your office and everything else when you're on the second floor up there. Yeah, next you to came Al's. next to Al's, right? That was next yeah, to you Al's. came in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right next to Al's. You came yep. and visited when Mandy was there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Could, and could I, I had a rocky start, too. I had a I had a very rocky start whenever I got here. And uh, I was, that's a story for another day. But I was on a different fleet. And, you know, I was it wasn't I, here. Great. Right? That wasn't yeah. that was before we came to Metal Arc. <laughs> yeah, that was before just to be we clear. came to Metal Arc. But yeah, but, but, but just company to be clear though, we I mean, I had a before. I had a rocky start, and and Russell, uh, he he took it upon himself to call me every day and even book me till I was I was able to actually jump over to his he, seat. And he so made keep in happen. keep in mind, drivers out there, Ray wasn't on my fleet. I had my own fleet. And another guy that we're still friends with was on my fleet, and he had happened to know Ray. Ray was on a company fleet at this big company, and we were they didn't have very many agents, and I was one of them. I was their biggest one. I say they're bankrupt now. They're so bankrupt now. I'm the only one that came out of there <laughs> yeah. uh, clean. But So what happened was Ray was sitting all over the country. For, he was about to just go home. He was, you know, in, in financially, he just can't do that. And so I started booking him because I, and I found a way to do it where he could get the load and put it in the system, even though it wasn't on my fleet. It was on this company <laughs> fleet and I got him rolling. It was interesting. They, that's for sure. They didn't want to let him go. I had to call the vice president of the company and this is a big, big company. I mean, I didn't know the guy. It wasn't, you know, they're a 5,000 truck company. I called the, I got a hold of the vice president of the company and then finally got an email from him to let this driver go. I said, I pretty much cornered him and said, Hey, you're going to lose a driver. You got so many. Why do you care? I care about this guy. And I didn't even know Ray, but Absolutely. I said, just let me have him I'll, you know, I'll, whatever we got to do, I'll get him a truck, whatever we got to do. Let me have him. And, uh, because I had a relationship with them and a contract, I had to go through this route, but I got it. And I, I got an email. Remember Ray? Mm -hmm. And I you, was, you showed, you sent me the email and yeah, I was, I was flashing I, that I was... email around to all their <laughs> fleets and dispatchers that were trying to keep Ray but we're sitting yeah. and then so that's where he had the trouble and then it was it's been smooth sailing yeah yeah 
Anyway, sorry, we got off on that, but no, that's good. Yeah, I'm sorry. Christian, I'm sorry good. to bring that up, but yeah, no, I like man, it. that's that's the reason we're here. We're to talk about it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think that's that's the next bullet point. Know your value, right? Otherwise, nobody else will pay it. You know, Russ, Russ knew your value, and you knew your value. You knew you were getting shorthanded, which is why you want to hang it up. Uh, and that is a two way yeah. street. Now, speaking of hanging it up, in, in our office, if anybody in our office hangs up on someone, they're fired immediately. They walked out the door. Grab yeah. your stuff and go. It's it is about mutual respect. There are rules to engagement. And I know this because, you know, I, I made some bad decisions when I was younger about leaving a company and it stuck with me that I didn't handle it properly, regardless of the circumstance. But I think <clears throat> you have to stay cordial no matter what. Um, mm -hmm. We all have stress, but you end up finding out that instead of leaving somewhere else to go find greener grass, put some fertilizer down and let it grow for a while. And you'll find out that you'll be much further along down the road than you are when you're hopping all around, yep. you know, like a lot of resumes mm -hmm. we might get where guys switch months every three or four months. Um, and then, you know what the expectation is, you start to build a relationship. Um, Christian, if you, if I might add, I like what you said though, but, uh, at the same time, I do have, I do have, a um, a, a status that I'm very proud of. And you can ask anybody in, in our office, I've never raised my voice and I've never yelled at anybody over the phone. Never. I've never gone, gone unhinged or nothing because I, I, I feel that that doesn't solve anything. It right. doesn't. And I can, I think Ray, anybody that knows you for 20 minutes knows that you're very mm -hmm. soft spoken and down you know level-headed so yeah that goes without saying that we i think we, i think you knew that too christian oh absolutely yeah yeah i, I did when, when, when they gave him his medal and then when i saw him get his jacket yeah and, 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 and by the way but, but super humble about it and i think that's the thing is you know there are pendulums you get to swing on you know you're raging yeah. mad over yeah. here or you're over you're not humble you're too proud over here and you know he stays yeah. right there in the center and that's that's a safe place to be yeah and and that's that's the reason that guys that speak to him through the prayer through the prayer group or just through um kind of um culting through like a, a peer mentorship that's yeah. the reason, you know, your fleet's the way it is. One of the reasons. And Jim and the rest mm -hmm. of the guys, too. I mean, I, I hear about the interactions between your drivers, and it's 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 great, man. That's what the industry was built yeah. on. Yeah. As, yeah. I'm, uh, as, as Christian says that, I look over at my smashed phone. <laughs> as, Christian <laughs> says, as Christian says, anyone that hangs up on anyone gets fired, and I look at my smash phone over well, here. So you, can, you, can, you can hang it, you can say, okay, thank you very much, and goodbye, and smash and break it. That was my first I didn't hang up on her. I did, well, I might have hung up on her, but I did smash the phone. This lady, it was the one time that I got really pissed, and she was so in the wrong that a couple months later, I had an email thread of like 30 emails and it was over like, it was over something so stupid. It was over like 150 bucks, but she was so in the wrong. And I was going to bat for uh, one of my drivers, Lee. And uh, she was trying to charge him a late fee. And she was so in the wrong, like three months later, out of nowhere, uh, I won't say their name, this company, um, this broker sends the uh, email with, with a, a rate con with for 150 bucks. It was from upper management. I don't know if they got a hold of the the email chain or whatever the case was, but it was like three months later. Yeah. I kind of got this apology email and um, the rate con for the 150 bucks. Tina knows about it. I best. remember. Yeah. Tina told me about it when she, when it finally came. Well, let, yeah. me, let me be very clear here. Uh, we've all broken phones. Uh, I, I thought you had Tourette's <laughs> one episode. We didn't start yet. And you were that cussing. And, you know, I mean, it was fantastic. I mean, you were so lively. But, but <laughs> you don't burn down your own teammates. You know, there might be no. brokerage houses and you don't want to get a bad name for a, an authority. So there's a professional way to do it. Like Russ did with the email after email after email, you know, and th there's strategy to it. But sometimes the phone needs to be broken. You just can't have somebody on the other end of it. So. Oh, see, that was it. Was the one time I I can usually I'm usually pretty cool about stuff, yeah. but that she really got to me. Yeah, and I so mean, did uh, his cable company or internet company, the cable right. company. <laughs> he, uh, he one day they were. He's like, I'm just firing them. They're done. <laughs> yeah. no, that was great. <laughs> Oh, you uh, want to uh, Comedy Central? <laughs> it's going to be in the another. The... <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. The uh, and the end of this would be. I'd say something, but we're on the air. If the end of this is find when you find your company, go to their website um, or ask them for it in their packet. Look at their mission, their vision, and their values. If it's I, we, or what we profess to be, but it doesn't include anything for you all that are that are on the road and driving, I say that as a, as a transportation model, um, run the opposite direction. Because if they're not willing to put it on paper, 
If they're not willing to put it online, they're not going to live behind it. You know, it's a standard. Every day you wake up and you have to make sure that you're making the right choices and having the right attitude and the right tones to you. Um, so, you know, for instance, and these are just, these, these are, are for our terminals. It's, it's nothing for anybody to or not to look at. You can check it out. Every member's opinion is valued and heard, right? We're not perfect, but we strive towards constant improvement. We don't complain about a problem. We solve it, right? I mean, these are all ongoing forward pressing issues. Um, and we expect to be called out on it. So we talk to each other, not about each other. Um, and, and so that's it. And then our company values a compass is basically who you want to work for. And that's it. And we got our famous guy. There we go. Yeah, this isn't healthy. <laughs> but neither is this. <laughs>